everyone, welcome to this Let's Play of Mods Online Season 5. This is Fun Gaming Connoisseur and you're watching Episode 1. So this is version 1.88.00.00. So it's the Haven patch that just deployed a few hours ago. So I've already created my character on a separate account. And so I'm just going to log in. And let's check out Haven. Meridius, and I'll let you think when we lock in. There's a brand new season, and uh, so I'm very excited. Now I've already uh, played a few minutes of the Newbie Island. And it, it is looking good, so... <laughs> I'm very happy with the with the work that SV has done. I think they've really done a lot of um, thought and uh, changed a lot of things to make it uh, new player friendly. Okay, all right. So, so we do have uh, Karok, Rendell. Okay, I don't know any of these people. But uh, there's definitely a lot of, uh... and I did see uh, Noob Island, this player called Noob Island, which ha which happens to, <laughs> oh mate, <laughs> uh, so there's this player called Noob Island, and he's a, uh, there's a person on the forums called Noob Island as well, so it could be him, Haven Trade Broker. Alright, so <laughs> Okay, so let's just have a look at all the vendors. Oh, I should show you my uh, my character. So this is Meridius and I'll let you have a close up. So I've gone for a bit of, a bit more of a <laughs> unscrupulous look. Now this guy is going to be a bit more of a uh, stealthy character, but uh, he is not going to be a, he's not, he's not going to be a criminal or anything. But he's just going to be a bit more of a, uh, I suppose in some ways different to Tybers. And I will, you know. I will think of a backstory for him, just as I did for Tibers. Okay, but let's just let's just have a look. This is the priest. Okay, so the graveyard is over there, but let's just have a look at. Vendor, weapon vendor, fishing vendor, crafting tutor. <laughs> There's a lot of players actually. Armor workbench. I think there's a lake here as well. <laughs> now I did see uh, Henrik, sorry, not Henrik, uh, Herius. He went inside the water and uh, battled a fish. <laughs> So let's try and pick a fight with a fish. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, I was uh, drowning. No target found. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I've posted the uh, the patch notes um, in the description below, and I've put up, you know, a few screenshots of it if you want to see it on this video. So <laughs> I'm just gonna, gonna fight a fish. <laughs> I've actually never fought a fish before, so this will be my first. And what sort of fish is this? Herb Herbius. So it can do some damage as well. Oh. <laughs> okay. So the fish is uh <laughs> Okay. So maybe not <laughs> Maybe wait until I have my swimming skills up, then I'll I'll come back for you. <laughs> but yeah, this is my this character is going to stay on on Haven. Um, I don't intend on uh, leaving with this character. Uh, this character is going to be living on Haven, so I can uh, you know meet new players and you know enjoy Haven. Because once you leave, you can't come back. So okay, we've got the food and. Uh, <laughs> nice. Who is this? Okay. So I'm going to follow the road through the town to the north. Northeast you have a mine that have been abandoned since the tribe rats invaded it. Okay. Highest central hill of the island. <laughs> Which made it impossible to siege. Zerth Rao Demon from the Grey Halls that came here to Haven Okay I managed to see their final cause and said to our hiding Volcano to the South East okay. What can we do about it? Okay, so he's uh he's gone missing, presumably dead. Alright. Okay. So I'm not leave that for later. Okay. So yeah, it is looking very good. I do have to say. Although, you know, I think this place could could do could use a bit more of a uh, touch up. You know, maybe more. What? What the? I can probably something going on outside. But yeah, I, this place could use a bit more decoration. I mean, it looks very very empty. Can I use the chairs? No. I think you should be able to use should make it possible to use the chairs. So. This is my suggestion to SV, you know. Okay, the 
there's a tower over there. And there's a mounted player. <laughs> Alright. So I'm just gonna Oh, there's quite a lot of players actually. And there's a and what the Oh Is this aggressive? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, I thought he had horns. Let me see what's up here. Okay. So I can't go up there. Oh, there's New Barlin. <laughs> and he's already given up his uh, yellow flag. A cooking tutor. Mr. Erebo. He's got his pig. <laughs> Food vendor. Cooking vendor. Blank book vendor. Yeah, so I spent the first you know, several minutes, uh, several hours ago, just uh, arranging my UI. Because when you, when you start a new character, the UI is, is in its default, and it's not um, and it's not ideal for me. So I have to rearrange everything. So it did take a little bit of time, but but yeah, I spent the first few minutes when it, when I first logged in, just uh, you know arranging the UI and this is connected to the Tindrum Bank so once you leave the island you can retrieve all your things at the Tindrum Banks okay. and oh that's Mujin is that uh, oh yeah that's <laughs> that's the Mujin is it Mujin? Mud? Jin? Yeah, he's one of the foreign, uh, one of the foreign members as well. <laughs> he's quite active, and that's his pet, obviously. Even Veridari. Okay, so that's where the Veridari is. So I'm doing this for myself as well. I'm learning. I'm, I'm just learning the location of everything. So, bag vendor. Okay, I will need this. Bag vendor, barrel vendor, reagent vendor, magic shooter. Don't you say, don't you say what? <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm just going to do a brief uh, tour of the of Haven. I've been here already. No. Social vendor. Ah, okay. Should call it social librarian or something. Lazy boom. <laughs> or <laughs> excuse me. Fishing vendor. What is that sound? Someone, is someone training parry? Ah, oh, it's probably wood cutting. Can I pick this? Okay. Alright. Butcher tutor. And that's the butcher table. Alright. Mountain equipment vendor, gear vendor. Okay, so we're back to where we started. Okay, so how about we go and have a look at links? 
Oh, that's funny. Combat tutor. Oh, okay, so this is like the uh, teaming tutor. Ah, oh, so this is where you can train your combat. Right, red right hand. Okay. So I'm just gonna Alright, so I will be exploring more of this place, but uh, this will be in a separate video. I wanna just um, do a quick explore around Haven. And uh Okay, let's maybe just go to the graveyard and then we'll hop back on our main account and uh, get on my main character Tybers. And this is of course with uh, maxed out graphic settings, so it does look good. Obviously, uh, none of these undead will attack you, so, so you're very safe, and you can't attack others as well if you have the yellow flag. Actually, it gets sulfur now. <laughs> cool. That's pretty good. Alright. Okay, so there does seem to be a lot of players. I don't know if they're, you know, new players or returning players, veterans, who are just creating a new character. Um, but yeah, there's definitely, I suppose, a, a good amount of people playing on the island right now. So, so if you like what you see, then uh, you know if you're an existing, if you're a veteran player, then uh, yeah, you may want to create a new character. Now, do bear in mind that uh, you can only come onto Haven if you have an account that does not have any characters in it. If you have, let's say, four slots and you delete one character. And you create a new one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you won't uh, start on the island. At least that's what I'm getting from reading the patch notes, so just be careful with that. You know, don't delete a character that is, uh, you know, valuable from your, you know, if you have like four characters, don't delete one of them because you may not be able to start on haven if you try and create a new character from there. Instead what I would suggest is create a new account and just uh, 
create a new character on that account like I have. Alright, so um, let me just bank my stuff and then we'll hop on to our because I want to see. So I do want to see Tendrum. Now where is the bank? <laughs> I've forgotten where the bank is. <laughs> this place is still very near to me. Oh, look at that. Must be uh, some sort of a... Oh, okay. Yeah, it may, it may be the location for one of the pieces. What do you call it? It's a demon... Demon... Uh, I can't remember what it is. Demon uh, keys or something. Let's just put that in here. Yeah, put that here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put that here. Right. Right. And you'll notice that uh, you know your movement speed, movement skills will increase very rapidly. This is one of the uh, one of the many changes that SV has made. So instead of having to spend you know a few hours leveling up your movement skills. I think within just half an hour, I think you will most likely max them out. So that's a good change. Okay, so I will log back on my other account and then we'll continue uh, checking out uh, Tindrum and, uh, and we might even do a few things. So uh, I'll, I'll resume when I log back on my other account. Alright guys, we're back and and I'm logged in as Titus. Okay, look. Wow. Look at this. Look at Tindrum. That is beautiful. Oh man, I gotta I gotta see this place. I have to see this place. Wow, they've really done up this place. Real good. Oh wow. Graphics look great. Wow, this is this is this is awesome. I love it. What's a dog doing in here? <laughs> well, I suppose the entrance is open, so Oh nice. Oh look at this. Oh, this is one of the wallpapers. Yeah, I, I recognise this from one of the Mortal Online wallpapers, which you can uh, build online. <laughs> Stairs. Oh, I wish there was a secret uh, location, like a secret, secret, uh, secret entrance to some somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, so you can actually sit down on these chairs, which is great. <laughs> we should do that with the uh chairs in uh, the inn on Haven. Yeah, so SV, please make all chairs uh, sitable, if you know what I mean. Oh, this is, this is great. I love this. And what is this Tim Drimmick librarian? Let's see what he has. Oh, he's got everything. <laughs> oh, he's got all the skills. Okay. So, so if you wanna, if you need a skill, 
skillbook, you can come to this librarian. Educational fiction builds history. Okay, so there's no books published. I see. <laughs> so you can actually publish your own book. You can write your own book and publish it here. This is great. It means you could be a best selling author if you tried. Share. <laughs> okay. Why didn't come here to read a book next time? If someone publishes a uh, an award-winning book in the game, I might come here and read it. <laughs> I'm sort of wishing that there was a secret entrance here somewhere. Oh, what? You can't get the water here. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Who is this? Okay. Don't know this guy. But bunch of scrolls. Um, wow. Okay, this place looks pretty good. And yeah, where is this? Where does this lead to? Oh, nice. Get a view. Get a view of the city. Oh, look at this. I love this. <laughs> I love this new place. Yep. 10 out of 10. For SV. Pseudo contractor, okay. Well, this is a place where you could, you know, deliver a, uh, you know, a speech or something. <laughs> but too bad it's occupied by this guy. There's even higher. Right, okay. Don't fall off. If you fall off from here, it's guaranteed. Guaranteed death. Oh, good. This is... This is so cool. Alright. And I've also heard that SV has reopened all the entrances. Oh, and look at this. Wow, this is really elaborate. Oh, what? You can't sit on this? Come on. You have to let me sit on this. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Well, you can sit on these chairs. Okay. Maybe you bring these chairs out a little bit so that you can actually sit on it without sitting on the table. Quick explore. <laughs> Training librarian. Okay. So this is another extension to the library. Yeah, I just have to say this is very, very, very well done. I love it. And oh, it's 
So that's actually the reflection of the chandeliers. Oh, this is great. This is really great. Well, I was wondering what these, <laughs> what that was. So it's, it's, the, it's the shadows of the chandeliers. Mm -hmm. All right, so very cool. Very cool library. All right, so, so where else can I go? Can I open these doors? I was going to try and pick, pickpocket me, I think. Hopefully not. <laughs> All right, and the bank. And the bank looks war. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is what I call the Tindrum Bank. Yep. <laughs> the Crush Rock. Honest truth. Can I say something? Why did he do that? <laughs> Maybe it was too deliberate. Maybe he did it to... <laughs> as part of his uh, speech. Who knows? Oh, wow. This is... Oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Look at this. The light is casting through this dome, the hole in the dome, and it's reflected down here. Oh, I love it. I love it. And everything is as it should be. Good. Alright. I'm just going to explore the rest of... Okay, so that's the butcher... Butchery... Butchery shop. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, everything everywhere has been redone. Where is this? Where does this go? Blacksmith. This is cool. This is so cool. Although I think it's only the interiors, the buildings inside the walls that are big done. Where's this go? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I see the uh, the walls. They're still using the old textures. It's only the it's only the buildings inside that are using the new textures. 
That's okay. Alright, so I think everything pretty much Oh, look at that. That is pretty cool. Okay. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> this seems like a... Who is this? This, this, in case you don't know, this place is uh, quite lawless because there are no guards patrolling it, so you do come here at your own risk. <laughs> Just a warning from me because I've played this game for six years and uh, I know there are certain places in Tindrum that you should not go unless you are prepared for the risks. Okay, so I think at this point we we'll go to the entrance, the other entrance. Maybe I'll resume recording once I get to get to the Tindrum Garden. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, so this looks like the this looks like the first entrance that has been. We opened. So that's it. Yep, it's been reopened. <laughs> there are guards posted. Ah, oh, the Marlin, Marlin wilderness. I can just smell the fresh air. <laughs> Look at this graphics. Okay, so. Definitely very happy to see there's uh, more entrances into the city. So I think this is the second entrance. No, I think there should be another one over to that side. I think this is it. Yeah, I think this is the... Uh, this is the other entrance. Let's see. Okay. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. So this is the eastern gate that leads to Fabenum. Fabenum is just uh, over to that side. Okay. So I really like what I see so far, although as I've mentioned. There are several things that I can guess we can work on. But so overall, I think SV has done a really good job. So,
So if you're new and you like what you see, then uh, check it out. New account. Um, and if you're an existing player returning to the game, then uh, if you want to check out the Haven Island, make sure you start a new account. Do not uh, no, delete an existing character. If you have already have like four characters, don't try and delete one of them because you may not uh, be able to start on the island if you create a new character on that uh, empty slot. At least that's just what I'm getting from reading the patch notes. So maybe until SV sorts this out, this, this may be what you have to do. Start a new account, then create a brand new character on there. But, um, but yeah, I am going to be playing more of this. This has been my dream game, dream MMORPG. My favourite, and uh, <laughs> it's just been vastly, uh, I think, vastly expanded. So, all right, I think I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that. Uh, I don't want this video to get too long, but uh, I will be making more videos. So, I do hope that you'll uh, stay around. And as always, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon and share this video. So thank you very much for watching. This is Funkin' Connoisseur. Take care and have a good day.